Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to be doing a walkthrough step-by-step -step guide to installing RSRBR for Richard Burns Rally. Now please bear in mind at this point in the video I'm assuming you already have the stock Richard Burns Rally game installed as I have here. I've got a special install just for this video. As you can see on the screen I actually bought my Richard Burns Rally from Games Planet back in 2014. Uh, unfortunately it's not actually available to buy anymore um, on this on this site or anywhere from my memory so you even need to have the game already as a disc copy or get it from elsewhere. And the first thing you want to do after getting your Richard Burns Rally stock game installed is go to this website here rallysim.com uh, the link will be below in the description and go to the RSRBR mod section. So you can see that we have three main parts here of the uh, of the mod we have the actual main mod itself a patch and an update. Get all three of these downloaded and they should look a little bit like this here. I've just got it in a, uh, a little random folder here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is install RSRBI itself which is at the bottom here. So we're going to double click that. And you might end up with a little warning like this. Just, just click OK. It's all good. Yes or whatever. Go, go for all of that. Click English. That's where we're from. Then we'll get to this first menu. Click Next. Again, this is just a, it's quite a big install, this is quite a big mod, RSRBR, so there will be times where your PC might freeze a little bit, but it's okay, it's just doing its thing. And click past this. So then we come through to this screen, uh, which is basically just choosing where we're going to install the RSRBR, which version of Richard Burns you're going to install it onto. Now I've got multiple versions of uh, Richard Burns Rally for videos and whatnot, so I've got a different version that I'm using precisely just for this video. Um, the directory there might be the directory you have that sort of a default directory um, if you have more than one hard drive or you've got a SSD or something like that make sure to check where your Richard Burns rally is installed before selecting this this is just a default directory it's not picking it up by any means you have to manually put it in yourself so for me I've just highlighted my directory in there so we're just going to click next now we're going to just choose where the shortcuts are placed I'm fine with that so I'm going to click next again you just leave it as RSRBR as normal as I would then we hit install, easy peasy. Now this bit takes a little while, so don't be afraid if, uh, again, the computer locks up, looks like it isn't doing anything. Just wait it through and it will be done uh, probably in about five minutes or so. There you go, that's all now finished installing, so we can move on to the next step, which is the jet. We're all done, so we can finish that, and that is the base RSRBR mod now installed. Now it's a good idea to keep this folder open at all times, your root folder for Richard Burns Rally, the one you're installing RSRBI into, just to make sure everything goes in okay. You can see down here we've got a couple of the um, RSRBI EXEs here, the RS Center stuff, which is a good indication that we're actually on the right track, so all that is installed, good. Next we're going to go to our um, patch 01 file that came on the uh, one of the free files we downloaded earlier on. It's going to extract that here. You're going to need 7-zip or WinRAR as a program to do that. So we're going to extract it. There you go. Now we're given three new EXEs. These are very simple. These are just going to go into your root folder, which is easy to just go and boop, drag and drop. There you go. And just click yes to replacing those. That's just an update there for those three EXEs. So once you've got the patch installed as well, we're going to go to install update 02 RSRBR. Double click that. And again, just click yes here to get past this little bit. English, yes, yes, yes. It's another little uh, EXE, so this is a bit easier. Haven't got to put the files in ourselves. So again, make sure that this installer is being pointed towards your uh, your root folder for Richard Burns Rally. Mine's already there already. It's, uh, put it in automatically. Yours should be there as well, but just double check. Once it is in there, hit next. And get that second update installed. Now that's all done, we're halfway there guys, you've done doing well so far, it's not too complicated once you get into it, but I have done this a fair few times, so pretty much do it blindfold at this point. Now we're going to look at installing the cars and tracks into Richard Burns Rally. There are a lot of car packs you can get, a lot of other tracks you can get into the game as well, so we're going to look at getting those installed next. So now we're going to do the uh, the car packs, that's the easiest thing to do uh, out of the car and track packs. We're going to go back to the Rally Sim forums, we've been here before so it should already be in your history. And click car packs and now what you want to do you can either well it's up to you really I, I do I always do the complete pack because it's just easier it takes a bit longer to install etc because it's a bigger file but it means you have every car in RSRBR and it means you don't really miss out on any events so we're going to go and install the complete pack so we're going to click that now we're going to install all the cars you can see all these different categories here there's about five or six cars per category so you're getting a lot of cars for your dollar here just click here to download, uh, get the download going, it's a fairly big file, I think it's 1.25 gigs it says here, so it's fairly big, but uh, it downloads pretty quickly. 
But once that's all downloaded, you should have another file here called Install Pack All Packs. Again, it's another EXE, so you don't really gotta do that much in terms of moving files around. Double click that. And again, I get one of these warnings, just click past that. Get English again, nice and easy. And it's just talking us through saying about what it's installing. Again, all the different car packs that are featured are here. Lots and lots of cars to choose from, as you can see. Just hit next there. Now again, make sure your directory is highlighted. Uh, it seems to have remembered where the directory is for me, so I've had to put this in myself. Again, double check that your uh, install directory is here. When it is, click next, install, and let it do its thing. There you go, all done, finish, and that is the cars installed. So one more thing left for us before we can actually get into some driving is to install the tracks. This one's a bit more difficult, so there'll be a couple more steps to this, but bear with me and we'll get it done. So we're going to go back to our favourite page, this time we're going to go to RSRBR Track Packs. Yep, click that. So here we are, and you can see already lots of links to download. Now, what you want to do is download all of these links here on the left hand side. You can download these if you want, but these are torrents and I prefer the direct download. So we're going to go download the EXE, download 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Put those all in a folder and when you're ready we'll go to the next step. So as you can see, we have all our files that are downloaded, all the uh, all the bin files and the exe. So we can click on our exe called install pack tracks, which is very hard to say. Yep. Again, same as before, just hit next. Just going to warn us again, the uh, the computer might be slow while it's doing this. It's quite a lot to install. I go OK, next. And again, you want to make sure you've got your Richard Burns Rally folder highlighted. Again, that's already there automatically for me, but double check it. I'm going to click next to that. Install. And away it goes. Now, it used to be once upon a time that you had to automatically select each file. But I believe if all the bin files are in the same folder as they are for me in the background there, then the EXE can pick them out and install them one by one, which means you haven't got to automatically select the bin file each time. Once you reach the end of the install, it goes through this little uh, section here of creating textures. Takes again a little while to do, 3 or 30, you can see how long it's going to take. Once that's done, um, you're pretty much away. A couple more things to do, but once this is done, then we'll get to that. Right then, so after all that is done, uh, it does take a little while, we can click next. And we are done, that is all of RSRBR installed and you are now free to go and play, except First things first, something that I would definitely do is go and set up your controls. RSRBR works a little bit differently from the standard Richard Burns Rally game, where you select your stage and your car and then it takes you through to the stage and car. You don't actually get to uh, interact with any of the, the game HUD or any of the game menus. That's all done through a different EXE and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So we're back in the Richard Burns Rally folder now, uh, with all the RSRBR goodness installed. What you want to do is go to your Richard Burns Rally EXE here, this one, and double click that, then go through to the game and set your controls as normal. You'll know you'll notice when you go into the game there's a new profile that says Mulligatawny, which is basically the game's cheat profile. Make sure you're using that profile when you're using RSRBR and the game inside, otherwise you don't get all your options saved properly. This should pop up, it's a pretty good indication whether or not your RSRBR has installed properly. And then what you're going to do is go over to uh, your options here, settings, and then make sure you've got the transmission set to manual if you are using a manual gearbox. You have to do that in here as well. Something to mention very quickly, if you are interested in driving online in the multiplayer in RSRBR, that is included within the mod, but you have to register for it to be able to do it. So make sure to click this little register thing here and just go through the guide to get yourself signed up. So there we are, RSRBR is now installed on your PC. If you do have any questions at all about the install or something that maybe I didn't go over very well, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get that answer for you. If this guide helped you out at all, make sure to hit that like button, show your appreciation, and of course subscribe to be notified of future videos and possible future guides if there is an audience for them. Thanks again for watching guys, take care and have an awesome day. Safe driving.